Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you two really cool telephones and these are from SoJ Design for a customer of theirs over in St. Louis, Missouri. And what we want to do is go through these telephones and repair them. And this is the initial checkout. So what we have here on the left is a 302. We're going to be going through that. Then we have a Kellogg, and it has an A&E dial. And that's not uncommon. Back in the old days, what they were doing was, uh, you know, you might find an A&E dial in something uh, that didn't have anything to do with A&E or you might find a Western Electric dial in another type of telephone. So, you know, they basically swapped parts and used other companies' parts all the time. Uh, that was not a big issue, and that's just the way they did things. So, anyway, we want to go through the Kellogg here first. Uh, someone has made an attempt to uh, put a line cord a modular plug on the original line cord. What we want to do is we want to try to save the original line cord. So we're going to be installing a modular port adapter so that this telephone can be plugged into any modern day jack. We also want to go through the rotary and like I said it's an A&E rotary and I want to show you it does not really return properly and you don't want to force them so basically you got to be real gentle with the return and kind of let it try to do it on its own it will eventually maybe make it back around but uh, it could take some time so we know we need to go through the rotary oil clean and adjust that we also want to go through the receiver the transmitter and we want to make sure that the handset cord is good. We have this telephone apart, so we want to give you a look at it. Someone has disconnected the bell altogether. Now that could be because it doesn't work. It could be because back in the day they were charging you for the number of telephones you had, and they could tell by how many bells um, were pulling Ren out of their line when they'd send your ring cycle. So they would charge you for extra telephones. So we still need to go through that situation and make sure that that's uh, repaired and connected up and works and everything. So of course we have our rotary, our cap, our two hook switches, basically our leaf contacts, our transformer, our connection. So we basically just have to go through everything and repair everything on the telephone and make sure everything's working. So we're going to set that to the side. We're going to bring around the 302. Now the 302 is in fairly good condition. Both phones are. This is a one of the feet off of the telephone and we have it apart because Every one of them on this telephone needs to be recovered. The suede has been peeled away and none of the feet have that on the little pedestals and we need to recover them. So we're going to go ahead and throw that away. We don't need that. We want to get a look at this rotary. That's going to have to be gone through. We're going to get a dial center card in here to the period, and that's the same with the uh, Kellogg phone. We need to get a dial center card and ring, because it does not have a ring either, and something to the period um, that would match the logo of the phone, basically, or the A&E dial in it. So we'll do the same here on the Western Electric, and we want to go through this rotary also. Give you a look at the handset, and then we also have this telephone apart, but we want to show you the bottom and what I'm talking about on the feet, the little pads. The material is missing from that, and then we want to 
give you a look at the inside. So basically we have to go through a little bit of everything and make sure everything is working properly and repair it. So we'll be starting on these telephones. We'll get some more video as we move forward with the repair and uh, any conversions that we need to do. Same thing with the Western Electric, the line cord. We're going to try to save that and install a modular port adapter so it can be plugged into any modern day line. So we have uh, quite a bit of work here and uh, we need to get a start on it so we'll take a short break and we'll get some more video as we move forward so we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. The 302 is basically finished up and we were working on the dial center card and ring and so when we took that all apart we had the dial center card that was on the telephone when it came in. Well, What we found was what looks to be like the original dial center card that was with this telephone all these years. And it's in very good condition and we're going to go ahead and use it. It's a pretty cool dial center card. Unless I hear different, I'm going to go ahead and use that original card. It's pretty cool and uh, we want to keep it with a phone if we can so that's pretty unique. We also um, went into this telephone and repaired the rotary, oiled, cleaned and adjusted that. We checked all the connections, we went through the hook switch, the receive, the transmit, we also adjusted the bells and there has been a modular port adapter installed on the line cord so it can be plugged into any modern day jack. We also covered the feet. They have uh, suede on them like they were originally so they have been recovered. So basically that telephone is done once we install the original dial center card that we found in the ring. Now we wiped this telephone down a little bit. We don't get into the cosmetic cleaning and polishing of these telephones. I don't have time. We're repair and conversion. Now I don't mind wiping them down a little bit, but we do not clean them up uh, and, and polish them and all that. That's a cosmetic issue and I let the customers handle that part of it. We're repair and conversion. So now what we want to do is we're going to be starting the Kellogg telephone and we'll get the dial center card all put back into the 302 and then we'll start on this Kellogg. So we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the process of repairing and converting these two telephones. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair and conversion of these two telephones. So we're going to go ahead and start our final checks and we're going to do the Kellogg first. So we want to ring the unit. I'll let that go a few more times. time. We'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has receive and transmit. We have a button on the switch box and when we push that, that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation 
and we'll call a time and temp number. Now, they're having issues with their equipment. You'll hear the recording, you'll hear a hum, and then the recording will start again. That's on their end, has nothing to do with what we're doing on this end. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll call that number. Okay. We can call another number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is we'll move this telephone Okay, now we can start the final checkout on the 302. So we'll go ahead and ring the unit. I'll let that go one more time. We'll give you dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers, so if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We're going to end in a 2. I want to transmit into the handset, so like earlier, if you watch that red light, Every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has receive and transmit. We'll go ahead and push the button on the switch box, which takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. And like earlier, you'll hear the recording and then there might be a hum and then the recording again that's on their end has nothing to do with what we're doing we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone and we'll call that number Okay. We can call another number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. So we'll give you some dial tone. Now that we know that these two telephones have been repaired and converted, we can return them to our customer and then they can return them to their customer and they can be enjoyed. These are two cool telephones on a telephone line as long as the voltage is proper and they have a good telephone line, there should be no issues, but older telephones will pull more voltage out of the line than a newer style telephone. So as long as the line is uh, up to standards 
and has plenty of voltage, there should be no issue with using these two telephones. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.